telling you, these folks are not Atlantans, and they have come here with a very deliberate purpose, and that is to tear this city apart in different ways. Uh, you know, Atlanta didn't deserve this. This is not a protest. This is not in the spirit of Martin Luther King Jr. This is chaos. And I want them to understand that there's a better way to protest than to destroy things. We as, as mothers, we are sick and we are fed up about burying our children. We got to come together as a race to bury our children because they are treating us as black. Being black is a crime. It's not a crime. It's not a crime. It's not a crime. Some painful moments. The protests in Atlanta last summer ran the gamut from peaceful to violent. But one thing it also did was force non-minorities out of their comfort zone. And many joined the fight for justice. We spoke with one woman, Hannah Cooper, who says she felt it compelled her to speak out. Why was that sign end white supremacy out in front of our house? You know, I, I think that it's incredibly important for white people to identify as white. It's really important for white people to take ownership of ending um, racism in this country. Um, I've been so heartened by the Black Lives Matter movement, um, and I think that's vitally important. What has been, I think, a little um, maybe off about the white response is that we've seen ourselves often as like just kind of supporting efforts to end anti-black racism instead of saying this is out, like we create this problem and we benefit from systems of white supremacy and we need to take ownership of that problem and end it, see ourselves as a people who um, are responsible for ending white supremacy. Um, and so for me, I'm trying to um, maybe broaden the perspective of uh, my neighbors. My neighbors are mostly white. I'm trying to broaden the perspective of my neighbors and also remind myself that ending racism is really on our shoulders. thing I would say is that we have to relearn our history, right? The history that we learned growing up was wrong, right? And, and I think that we have to, it's on, it's incumbent on us to actually expand out beyond what we were taught in fifth grade, beyond what we were taught in our history classes in high school. We need to learn about the Atlanta riots in 1906, or, you know, I think we're finally talking about the Tulsa ma massacre. We have to understand that those riots were, um, you know, a huge part of how white supremacy was built and maintained. They're built into the fabric of this country. We have to um, know that history, I think, to really understand the magnitude of discrimination in this country and mobilize to end it.